Fabtech 2025 at the IPG booth. I'm here with Kevin. Kevin, what are we doing today? All right, so I'm going to be demonstrating some of our uh, our laser welding technology. Right now, we have a uh, prototype uh, laser welding, TIG welding type thing called uh, laser tug. Absolutely awesome, right? Very excited about it. Uh, let's take a look in there. I'll kind of explain yeah. it a little bit more. Excellent. Let's do it. Come on in. <coughs> okay, so first thing, right? We want to make sure safety is key, right? Want to make sure we can do this. Yeah. Very easy system, but we want to make sure we're being safe while we're doing sure. it, right? So one of the cool things about our machine in general, right, mm -hmm. is that there is a lot of layers of safety built into it. So not to get too technical, but we'll just kind of cover the basics right now, right? We have uh, basic operations of this company. We have a gas trigger right here, laser emissions trigger. Process to getting this started. We're going to give it some gas. Once you give it some gas, you got this green light that comes on. Excellent. So what we're doing here, as soon as we make contact with the material, this light is going to blink, right? This is indicating that there is a safety continuity loop that has actually been satisfied. Yeah. So it will only weld when you are making contact with the, with the material. As soon as I release it, boom, shuts it off, right? I got you. So this is built in. Otherwise, at any point, anyone could inadvertently get shot with this, right? Right. Essentially becoming a Star Wars laser gun, right? Oh, I got you. Right on. <laughs> so uh, kind of what we're going to do, right? The stance is just a little bit different than any kind of TIG welding. Uh -huh. But one thing is that it is super easy and anyone can do it, right? Really? Yes, sir. So. The less you know, actually, the better you do. Excellent. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of walk you through the stance and how, sure. how you're going to be doing this, right? So first thing, it's a little awkward, right? So, yeah, yeah. or not awkward, just take a little bit of adjustment, right? Mm -hmm. So your goal right now is to make sure that we put just enough pressure to keep it in that little channel. I got you. Right? So you're going to grab, contain the handle right here, uh -huh. put it right into this joint, give it some gas. Mm -hmm. Once it starts to blink, it pull, the, pull trigger. the trigger and hold it. What it's going to do is actually push, push, push against you. And your job is just to let it, let it guide let you. It flow, huh? Let it run all the way off. As soon as it exits the material, same thing. It's going to shut itself off. Really? Yes, sir. So I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of guidance. Yeah. Kind of maybe set you up, but let's yeah. go ahead and get suited up. You're going to need your glasses. Got it. Going to need some, some gloves. gloves. Excellent. So Every, is this the shielding gas? What shielding gas do you guys utilize? So right place? now, for any of your ferrous metals, we are using nitrogen, which really? is a big plus, right? It's a hidden savings, right? Mm -hmm. Because typical, typically you'd be using argon yeah, to, yeah. to weld any kind of stainless. So it's a cheaper gas, kind of yeah. saves you a little bit of money, right? Mm -hmm. That's, I think everybody likes that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get it started, right? So what yeah. I do is I got you set up and just one of our pre- uh, our uh, pre-built programs that work okay. awesome, right? So I think the goal here is for mm -hmm. you to throw, up, be able to throw down a dual-sided weld. So you're gonna weld this, we're gonna pick it up, you're gonna weld the other side, yeah. and then we're gonna hand you off to over there and we're gonna go and try to pull it apart, see how it does, oh, right? Oh, really awesome. Yeah. See with the strength of it, huh? Oh, absolutely, right? So, so trigger, trigger. And hold the, the try to there. grab it right here. You'll feel this little fat piece right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect, right there. kind of handle on it. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, Perfect, just like that. I'm gonna kind of set you up in the perfect, Excellent. perfect environment. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure that you maintain a uh, 45 degree angle right there. So rule of thumb, just make sure that this handle is aligned with the weld seam. Yep. We'll go ahead and drop your helmet. Perfect. All right, now give it some gas. You see that it's blinking? Ready to pull the trigger. Uh, yep. Go for it, right there. Right yeah, there. pull the trigger and hold it. Perfect, you feel it pushing you. So you're going through. Absolutely perfect, just like that. And we're just going to keep that. Bam! Look at Ab that. Absolutely beautiful, right? So I'm going to show you Man, something. Man, the travel cool. speed is absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's just. So I'm going to show you something cool. Uh oh, yeah. we actually kind of stuck it a oh, little bit. Oh man! No, we're good. That's what we want, right? Yeah, so absolutely. if you look at that, absolutely beautiful weld. Mm -hmm. Notice something. You're touching it. I'm touching right after it. Barehanded, right? Mm -hmm. Full penetration all the way wow. through, right? So all indications right now is that mm -hmm. this is going to be an awesome weld. So oh boy, let's go ahead and let's get you set up on this other side. Mm -hmm. So this time, training wheels are off. It's all training you. wheels are off. It's That's all me. Right. <laughs> all right, so we're going to line that up in the channel like that, right on the end. Yes, 45 sir. Forty-five degree angle. Yes, sir. Drop then that helmet. Drop that helmet. Safety first, and let's get it going. And then pull that trigger. Yes, sir. Woo.
Man, you've done this before, haven't you? Well, TIG welding, but this is the first time laser. Look at that. Look at that. Even better, right? So, the key to this is repetition mm -hmm. like anything. Yeah. The more you do anything, the better you get at it. Absolutely. The selling point is that it doesn't take years to master this. Yeah, absolutely. So, let's Very go. Very little distortion as well. Very little heat transfer, mm -hmm. kind of one of the things, right? Yeah. This is what's... You know, in my opinion, this is where welding is going to be in the next 10 years. Yeah, so, absolutely. very excited about it. Fantastic technology. Awesome mm -hmm. company, right? Excellent. So, uh, I guess let's go ahead and transfer you over. Awesome. We'll go take a look. We'll test it. See if it held. See if I passed. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, man. Fantastic job. Thank you. All right. Nice work. Excellent. All right. We ready? Yes, sir. Go so, pull it? let's go pull it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go see the judge, jury, and executioner. Awesome. All exactly. right, you mind setting us up, see if we can pull this? Yes, yeah, of course. Let's get this set up for you guys here. So this is a tensile pull, right? Yes, sir. Super. So, so as of right now, all indications are that this is going to hold up, right? That this Super. is a strong weld. We got solid penetration. Mm -hmm. It's aesthetically pleasing weld, right? Which mm -hmm. is what a lot of customers want to see. It's what Absolutely. I like seeing. So. Um, Let's see how we did, right? Absolutely. And this machine will give us an output of the yield strength and the whole bit, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. All right. Oh boy, there it goes. Yes, sir. How we doing? Nine thousand. Yeah, but it's still broke. Yeah, it's still broke. <laughs> There's so many gears of this stuff on mm -hmm. It's crazy. Oh, absolutely. Let's see. That broke right there. Uh -huh. A little bit hanging on, but yep. So, yeah, maybe just have that angle just a little bit more, catch more of that edge, and it would have been pretty solid. Yes, sir. Yeah. I missed the joint. <laughs> <laughs> that side looks pretty good, though. Looks like it tore some off the material, did it? Yeah, they're breaking the welder yeah. and the printer material. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Looks very, very good, man. I need more practice, Kevin. <laughs> but I can see the advantages of it being you know, with the time, just that being that intuitive first time, first and, pull. And here's what I want to kind of point out to you, yeah. right? So this is the one that you did on your own, right? But yeah. the one that actually, or this was the first one we did. This is the one you did on your own. Yeah. This is the one that held up the longest. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah. So, you know, first pass, not so good. Second pass, even better, held up. It'll go. only get better, better with more time. There. Absolutely. Absolutely. But Fantastic. Still pretty strong in my opinion. <laughs> Absolutely. And then these machines, I mean, as far as how they can be applied in any situation with manufacturing, carbon steels, we're obviously working with stainless. Yes, sir. So you can do different materials with it. And yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, as far as materials goes, your standard, you know, most ferrous metal, stainless steel, mild steel, galvanized, right? We do a lot of aluminum, uh, nickel alloys, you know, more exotic things. What, the way that I like to kind of consider this machine as something to experiment with. Yeah. I've literally welded things that are on our list, right? I've welded mm -hmm. gold, we welded yeah. silver. We've done a lot of cool stuff really? that's actually not listed. Mm -hmm. This machine is actually more about experimenting, mm -hmm. right? It's either going to work or it's not. Yep. And in most cases, it does work. So. Wow, very versatile. Yes, sir. Well, Thank you, Kevin. This has been absolutely fantastic, and this technology is certainly going to pave a way in the industry here very soon. I, I believe in it 100%, right? So awesome. I'm not a sales guy. I'm an engineer, so I stand behind this stuff. It's pretty good. Well, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for showing me the product, and uh, hey, if you're at Fabtech, stop by the IPG booth and check it out. It's absolutely wonderful equipment.